In this video I'm going to use Post-Trans to import timesheet information into Exchequer Enterprise. This is actually the standard version of Post-Trans, although whenever you see a uh, pop-up appear to help you with codes, that's only contained within the professional version of Post-Trans. So here I am in an example timesheet called Timesheet XLS, and here we have two different formats which I'm going to demonstrate. This one here is a summary timesheet, which allows us to enter a particular employee code and various jobs they've worked on, but it only allows us to post summary information, so it's quite easy to fill in. For instance, they enter a description in here and the job code they've worked on. So there's a job code, the analysis code, now some of this information is actually optional, for instance if I delete the analysis code page it will actually look up the default analysis based on the rate. But here we can go in and fill in the times for the week. And what's the rate code? Well this was electrical overtime, so let's select overtime. Then we can fill in the cost centers and departments if we've got them turned on. Or we can allow the system to apply the default values. So now to post this into Exchequer, basically this employee would send it off to an accountant uh, within the office and that accountant would open it up and simply press the post transaction button. This will then allow PostTrans to scan the spreadsheet, as you'll see there, and display a summary of the timesheet information before posting it into Exchequer. So I can simply say post transaction, now that timesheet is now going into Exchequer you see that's posted it and it's flagged it as posted up here and tells you actually what the timesheet reference code is. So if I pop into Exchequer just to prove it did something. If we go to timesheets in the bottom we should see there my timesheet with the hours entered for the whole week. As we know the timesheet entry within Exchequer is actually per day so there is actually another format here which allows us to enter more detailed timesheet information. So I can actually come in here and type in, oh, whoops, that's not a valid, a valid um, employee code, put a description in, maybe a date. So I can actually here put in multiple employees within a spreadsheet. So you see it's very flexible. So I can say this employee works six hours, their rate code was electrical standard, and they actually worked on um, Olympics 3. Now, you see it says cost and charge out here. As I said previously on that other example, PostTrans is quite intelligent and looks up various values. Here, if I don't specify it, you'll see it will fill in the charge out and cost from uh, the settings within Exchequer. And of course, if um, the employee has been flagged as having their own rates for a particular job, it looks all that up and applies the correct rules. Also, the analysis will be filled in, the analysis code here will be filled in for the default for the rate. So I needn't necessarily fill in all the information. So let's try and post that into post, uh, using PostTrans. There's my confirmation screen. You see it's popped up here for John01 because he's uh, a, a single employer, employee. So if I had multiple lines for him, that would all be shown on here. So we send that in and now of course the second line is a different employee. So now it's posting a separate timesheet for that employee. So that's been posted in. Now you can see here, I left these two, em the, several of these bits and pieces empty, and PostTrans filled them in with the values from Exchequer. Of course, if I'd specified a charge out and cost, that would have overridden the values with, held within Exchequer. So again, just to prove that that's posted that information in, let's just go back into the day book. And you can see there we've got a one-liner and a one-liner for Alan. So I hope you would agree that's a fairly easy way of entering timesheets. It's extremely flexible because you can move a lot of these columns around. And I mean, here I've just put in two employees, but probably you would actually use one spreadsheet for a particular employee. But PostTrans is probably the, one of the easiest ways of entering timesheet information into Exchequer Enterprise.